We are gathered here and united by God as a family in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Life is God's precious gift to each one of us. And life should be directed and lead us to God and to Jesus. But many times, we didn't direct our lives to God and to Jesus. For this reason, let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I've greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at His ascension to the heavens was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant we pray that just as they received manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too, you may bestow spiritual gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Achilla heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm, God is king of all the earth. God, God is, is king, king of all, all the earth. earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the most high, the awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God, God is king, king of all, all the earth. earth. For king of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. I came from the Father and have come back into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, I will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord The last part of Today's gospel prepares us to celebrate the solemnity of the ascensions of the Lord. We are going to celebrate tomorrow or this evening as well. Jesus says, I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Jesus comes from the Father. And the life of Jesus is totally directed to the Father. He knows very well that his life journey here on earth should lead him to the Father. By this, Jesus teaches us that life has a purpose. Life should have a meaning because our life is directed to God. Our life is from God and our life should be directed and lead to God himself. In the first reading, it is pretty clear that all the name mentioned in the first reading, Paul, Apollos, Priscilla, and Aquila, they use their life for purpose. They fulfill the purpose that God entrusts to them. Paul uses his life to encourage and bring strength to all disciples who feel discouraged. Paul gives meaning to his life. Apollos, even though his knowledge is still limited about Jesus, about the way of God, but he speaks and teaches people about Jesus. Priscilla and Aquila explain more accurately the way of God to Apollos so that Apollos will have more knowledge about Jesus. All of them use their life for a purpose and give the meaning to their lives. How about us? 
we are preparing ourselves to welcome, to celebrate the ascension of Jesus. We also should direct our life to God, to Jesus. So that when we really direct our lives to Jesus, to God, we give meaning to our life. So in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the grace of God to be able to direct our life to God so that we are led by the Holy Spirit to the final destination of our life, which is God himself, so that our life here on earth will have meanings. Knowing that God is merciful and kind, let us pray for the sake of all people. That the Lord may raise up more men of fortitude and virtue to answer the call of Christ to serve his church as priests. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. our prayer. That the message of salvation in Christ may bring peace and consolation to all who seek him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our prayer. That those who are brokenhearted over the loss of a loved one may feel God's healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord may help all of us gathered here to grow in knowledge and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That all who have died may soon rest in the arms of the Father in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the deceased, Dorothy Urbaniak on her 68th wedding anniversary on May 21st, and for the Mother's Day Novena, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers, and we offer our prayers to you on the altar, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, 
pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the Lamb of Sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, hope, and love of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ be passed for eternal life.
communion antiphon. Father, I wish that where I am, those you give me may also be with me, that they may see in the glory that you give me. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, be our perplex against the people of the Seniors. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and to serve God and one another. Have a wonderful day. O Sacrament.